in recent years, we've had a lot of openings in chess that have become uh, meme openings. So it could be strange, silly openings. And we want you to rank these different openings from brilliant to double question mark. And um, it'll be interesting to hear your thoughts on sure. these uh, different openings. So we'll start with one at three. Yeah, so F3 is just a bad first move. I, I don't see any upside to it, even as a beginner playing it. So I'm gonna rank it um, in this double question mark. Yeah, one of three, I guess that goes in the bad category. It's like somewhere between bad and playable, but I think it's appropriate for bad. Seeing some of the ones that are coming up, I'm gonna put it as bad. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's a fair assessment. Yeah. And then we have one A6. It's probably going to be the best of those lots, so if it's very good, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant, okay. One A6, yeah, playable for sure. I mean, A6 has to be at the absolute top, because I think Magnus and I have both won probably, I'm going to guess, at least uh, probably 30 to 40 games combined between us with that move and title Tuesday, so it's at the very top, absolute top. Great. And uh, speaking of you and Magnus, we have the Bond Cloud. Yeah, the Bond Cloud is uh, also at the very top. It's an opening that I think everybody knows, and um, you have to try at least once. So, very top, very, very top. S tier. Yeah, the Bond Cloud is pretty. Uh, it's double question mark, unfortunately. Uh, it's the double question mark. Double question mark. And then we have the, the Greek opening. Which is what? I think it's uh, F3, King F2. Yeah, that's, um, I, I would, I, I think I would have to say again, that's a very, very bad opening because um, actually in the Chess Champions Tour, the in-person in final, I think in 2023, Jan Christoph Dudo, after tilting against me, he, he played it um, and lost. I, I think I also played against Kramnik in a title Tuesday as well. So um, no, no, no upside again, very, very bad opening. Yeah, that's probably a double question mark, unfortunately. And then we have the, the hippo. Ah, the hippo is definitely playable. In this company, I'm going to say brilliant as well. Yeah, so the hippo is um, another opening that I think is, is very um, very playable. It's not something that's out of this world good, but it's nowhere near, near some of the other options that exist. So I would say it's probably, I would say it's playable. I think it's playable in the middle. Great, and then number six, um, the orangutan or Sokolsky opening. Brilliant. The orangutan, yeah, it's playable. Yeah, so I think um, for, for 1b4, it's another opening that I've played a lot, and Magnus also has played it quite a bit. I think it's completely reasonable, and um, yeah, it's in the middle. Very, very, very solid opening, and no reason not to play it. So do you have my attack? 1-9-A-3. Yeah. Eh, I think that's bad. Good. <laughs> I think that's... Uh, I can't give too many brilliance, so I'll yeah. be good. Uh, I would say it's not the worst. I, maybe it's playable. I'd probably put it in the second to last tier though, which is just bad. I, I don't think it's, it's there's much um, value to the opening itself. It's just fun to move the knight, but it doesn't do much else. Mm -hmm. And then number eight, I believe, is an opening invented by Anna Kremlin, which is called the cow. Brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, so I think as far as the cow opening goes, um, it's an opening that I would put probably in second tier of good. I think much like the hippo, it's something that you can play and get to a very high level with it. Um, at a certain point, of course, it's not particularly good if your opponents know what they're doing, but uh, I also played it recently in a blitz match online and um, I did well against the GM, so I think it's probably in the good tier, second tier. I'm tempted to put it in double question mark, but I think it just barely makes it into bad. Those are um, the words of Magnus about the cow. And then we have a favorite, the Norwegian rat. Yeah, uh, I really like that opening, but uh, unfortunately I think it's also bad. Yeah, I think that's uh, in the middle. I don't think it's horrible, don't necessarily think it's great. Some, somewhere in the middle, I would say. So I'll put it in playable. Okay, yeah, that's good. 